Well, good morning. Derby Jack here. Um, just something to go with for the day. And um, it is uh, in chapter 6 of Ecclesiastes. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. A man to whom God hath given riches, wealth, and honor, so that he wanteth nothing for his soul of all that he desireth. Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. They talk about disease. They talk about all kinds of sicknesses. But the natural man and the scientists, the experts, the those in power, those with riches, lack in one substance, and that is they are selfish. They are for what they do. The problem is, is that everything they think they're doing, they really have no power. Because when you get right down to it, to obtain riches and to always have riches around you, are you in control of your riches or is your riches in control of you? If you establish your life by what you wear, by what kind of job that you have, by uh, what you surround yourself with, the type of people, then you have missed the whole boat somewhere along the line. To understand what true life is, is to escape the evil. And the evil here it states is common, common among men, to fall prey to greed. We, we think, well, we have control of greed. We have control of everything that we have. But yet, if you had not it or it's taken from you, you would feel robbed. You, you would feel like your life has ended. We, we tie our lives up in what we put around us. And that's the example that we should never follow. For when we give our lives over to inanimate objects, we give our lives over to ideals and ritualistic things and purposes. We give our lives over to everything else. And yet, we don't give our lives over to the one who gave his life over for us. Think about what you have. Think about what's in your world, your personal world. Think about what you surround yourself with. Look at the evil that you allow under your sun and see that maybe, just maybe, you think you're squeaky clean, but the truth of the matter is you're not. I love you all. Derby Jack out, and I hope to see you all on the other side.